Okay, 13B, we have another one of these where these do not match. The inside and outside one don't match, so we're going to do this, this process where we draw a right triangle. The inside one, as I mentioned before, is how you're going to draw the triangle. Uh, so we have that theta is equal to inverse cosine of negative root 3 over 3. And if we apply a cosine of both sides, we get cosine theta is equal to negative square root of 3 over 3. So this tells us cosine, and we want to draw uh, that one. Now the inverse cosine, uh, that's in. So inverse cosine is in quadrant 1 or 2. So uh, we talked about in this section that they, they end up in different quadrants depending on what you have on the inside. So if inverse cosine is in quadrant 1 or 2, and this is negative here, then it must be drawn in the second quadrant only. So again, you have a choice with inverses to have it either in 1 or 2 only. So because it's in 1 or 2, we have a choice. It has to be in the uh, second quadrant because that number inside was negative. If it was positive, I'd have it in the first quadrant. We're going to use this right here in order to label our sides. We have cosine is equal to negative square root of 3 over 3. And the definition for cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, so adjacent over hypotenuse. Uh, this is theta here. Hypotenuse is this one. The opposite would be this side. So this is your adjacent here. Now that's the one that has to be negative because that's a negative x value when you go to the left of the uh, the vertical axis there. And so you're going to have negative square root of 3. This is, again, goes adjacent over hypotenuse. So there we have negative square root of 3 and 3. We have to find the missing side since cotangent involves an opposite and adjacent side. So we're going to do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now this time the c is given as 3 since that's the side opposite the right angle which would be here. And a and b doesn't matter which one so we'll put that there. So negative square root of 3 squared plus b squared equals 3 squared. We'll square this, we'll get rid of the negative and the radical, leaving it with 3. This one over here gives you 9, so we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. b squared is equal to 6, and when you square root that, you'll get square root of 6 uh, is your b. So I know right here this is going to be square root of 6. Okay. Uh, so now we have all the information we need in order to do this one. We use the inside one to draw the triangle like we did here. The outside one is what we use to get our answer. Cotangent is equal to the adjacent over opposite is the definition for that. So adjacent would be negative square root of 3 over opposite, which is square root of 6. And we're going to multiply top and bottom by square root of 6 over square root of 6 because we want to rationalize these and we'll get negative square root of 18 over 6 and you can leave your answer like that if you'd like to simplify it you can square root of 18 you can write it as 9 times 2 which means a 3 would come out so I could also write it uh, just like this so negative root 2 over uh, 2 would also be an equivalent answer here, but I would take any of these three answers for it. Uh, these are all be considered rationalized, but the most simplified answer would be negative square root of 2 over 2.